I started off with my soft serve ice cream with this Dairy Gold Vanilla Milk. It's very tasty. I sous vide my custard for about 30 minutes. Then I mixed it in with this dry ice that I powdered. Started off on low speed then gradually raise it to high just so you don't make a mess. Throw it in the freezer, let it set up. And there you go, you have soft serve in less than 30 minutes. Really nice creamy vanilla soft serve. Now for a churro ice cream sandwich, you need churros. So start off by boiling all the wet ingredients, then add in the flour, mix that off the heat thoroughly to cook off that flour flavor. Crack in your eggs one at a time and mix the hell out of it. You can do this in a mixer or just do it by hand. Now it's time to change up the shape. I put it into this waffle shape mold. It's really not necessary, but I thought it would look cool. Threw it in the freezer just to chill it up a bit. And then they were pretty much coming out like butter. Very easy. Then it can just go straight into the fryer. Okay, now time to fry them. Go ahead and fry them at about 300 Fahrenheit. You don't want to cook the outside without you know, cooking the inside all the way. Just until golden brown. Next, drop it like it's hot into a sugar cinnamon mixture. Give it a nice, generous coating and continue to do this with the rest of your churro buns. Now you want to make sure these are completely chilled before you put the ice cream on it because then you'll be left with a mess. Then for the cajeta topping, I just got some Dairy Gold whole milk, sugar, some vanilla, pinch of salt, and I let that go low and slow for like four hours. Remember to go low and slow. Reduce it until it's thick, thick pure gold. There you go, the true ice cream sandwich. Thanks so much for watching and also thank you to Dairy Gold for this really rad partnership. Make sure to leave a comment and subscribe.